What is up, Good Life? It is Forrest. Happy Friday. Coming to you today for our 128 moment right here from the venue. And I pray and hope that you're having an awesome Friday. And whether you're listening to this at work or in the car or maybe even chilling out on the beach or in some air conditioning, that you're having an awesome week. So this 128 moment, I want to look ahead to Sunday. This Sunday, we're kicking off a brand new series called Picking Up the Pieces. Now, in this series, Picking Up the Pieces, we're going to be studying the book of Job. So I thought what would be ideal for today is to give you three things to be thinking about and just some framework as we begin to study the book of Job. So I don't think there's any like spoiler alerts here or I'm not stealing Kel's like punchline or anything like that. I just want to give some three kind of overview structures on the book of Job that we can begin thinking about when we look ahead to Sunday. So let's dive in. Number one, the first thing that I think we should know about the book of Job is that Job is classified as wisdom literature in the scripture. So Job is one of the wisdom literature books that we have. Now, in your Bible, there's a lot of different genres. I don't know if you're aware of this, but you have things like poetry, prophecy, you have gospels, you have letters, you know, like in our New Testament, there are actual letters written from the apostles. And then we have books like this that are wisdom literature. We have Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Job are all considered wisdom literature. Now, in light of that, they're dealing and trying to get down and see what it looks like, how our world around us operates. So that brings me to number two. First, Job is wisdom literature. Second is Job is trying to deal with some big questions. Job is positing some questions about how does the world work? And specifically, where is the balance of, is the world a perfect cause and effect relationship where if um, you do good, you receive good. If you do bad, you receive bad. Or is there something different? And it seeks kind of to explain what we know to be true, which is that when we look out at the world around us, we see a lot of brokenness. We also see a lot of um, the opposite. We see a lot of people receive wealth and gain and inheritance and all kinds of things, but it doesn't necessarily seem to add up to cause and effect. There's plenty of people that they live a great life and are awesome people that are poor and suffering. And there's plenty of people that are terrible people that have all kinds of excess and wealth. And Job seeks to look at why is this and what do we do with it? How do we handle the fact that bad things happen to good people? So Job is wisdom literature. Second, it seeks to answer and just propose some big questions. And then third, which I think comes right along with number two, is that ultimately Job points us to the person of Jesus. Because some of the tension in Job is dealing with the reality that people don't get what they deserve, either for the good or for the bad. And ultimately what we know in Jesus is that this is very good news. Now it might seem backwards at first because we think that we should get what we deserve. That if you're a good person, if you live a good life, you should receive good things. If you're a bad person, you receive bad things. Now I'm just going to speak to a big meta narrative, the whole of scripture. What we know to be true is that if we all got what we deserve, there would be no hope for us. The crux of the gospel is that you and I, what we deserve, the punishment and guilt that should be upon us for our sin was actually taken on by someone who didn't deserve it at all. That the one who lived perfectly and righteously was the one who took on all of the sin, shame, and brokenness. And instead, we, the ones who didn't deserve it, got what he deserved. That's fundamental to our gospel. And I think that the book of Job lays the foundation for that that we don't always get what we deserve. In fact, that's a really good thing because we can praise Jesus today because what we deserved, he took upon himself. And what he deserved, the glory and honor from God, we receive that as children of God. So as we approach the book of Job, it's wisdom literature. It asks some big questions and ultimately it points us to Jesus and the gospel. Can't wait to study it with you guys this Sunday, whether it's in person at 930 or 11 at the venue or online at 930. Either way, love you guys and cannot wait to see you soon.